Hey guys, Thunder E here and the LG G7 ThinQ is finally here. Yes, it's pronounced ThinQ like thank you. Yeah, the naming is a little bit rough, but the G7, the brand new device, uh, does come with something quite peculiar when you look at it. It's got a notch, or I like to say a unibrow. That is something LG says you can, of course, go ahead and customize. You can take it out. You can actually change the colors. So it's actually more fun to play around with it. I actually had some fun coloring up as I put up Kratos there as my wallpaper. That display you're looking at is a 6.1 inch display. Uh, this is a L, uh, it's an LCD display, but it's a W. RGB, which means it's got a white pixel, which also means it's probably one of the brightest displays out there. LG says it does up to a thousand nits. So we have to see how that tests out. It means that in your daytime, in the sun, it will be really bright. You can actually see the display, which is actually very, very nice. Now the device is really nice and comfortable to hold. It's got a really nice feel to it. Uh, you know, that nice brushed aluminum feel to it all around. It's got wireless charging. It's got um, water resistance as well. So that's also very, very nice. You've also got face unlock, which is pretty easy to set up, but it's super fast. So I have to say, I really enjoyed that. And I love that shot there. Thank you, Mr. Danny Winget, using this, uh, the Sony a7 III it was lovely, pretty good. Now, as you look at the back of the device, there's a fingerprint sensor, uh, but also be above that is your dual camera setups. Dual 16 megapixel cameras, uh, which is nice, so now both cameras have the same resolution. Uh, F-stop of 1.6, and one of the lenses is the second, which is the wide angle lens, F-stop of 1.9. And that, of course, allows you to take all those lovely wide angle photos, which is pretty nice, uh, and gives you a really nice view. And also your videos, you can record them in wide angle as well with that too, so that's also pretty Pretty cool. Now, speaking of that camera, that's where the ThinQ branding come in, comes in. It's the AI functionality that you want to see that everybody's been talking about with different devices. And LG says they have it right here with ThinQ. What it does is, of course, recognizes scenes up to 18 scenes in total. And of course, they said it will be updating to add more. Uh, and it recognizes people. So if you point that camera at someone, take a photo, it recognizes person, goes into portrait mode. Uh, if it recognizes food, changes the settings for that. And the funny thing is, when you pull it up, it, it actually does this really cool thing where it shows you different things is recognized in the scene. Software wasn't updated, uh, of course, sorry, software is not the latest version when I got to check out early, but that's the kind of thinking you're gonna be getting with this camera. So when you take a photo, it actually takes some really nice crisp photos, especially portrait mode. As you can see here, you can customize the bokeh later on while you take it, but it was really nice taking the full photo. It didn't actually cut any parts of my body while do taking those portrait photos. So we'll have to see that. But of course, it does have the manual mode, so you can actually go ahead and customize your, your photo taking skills to the largest ability, and also video recording as, you know, as well, which is pretty good so i can't wait to test it out with the full array microphones and all that kind of fun stuff uh with there with this device now the other thing to mention is that of course this device also has a headphone jack yes bam yeah, that's right. I can actually use my headphones with this device, uh, the LG G7 ThinQ, uh, but not just a regular headphone jack. It's got a 32-bit quad DAC. <sighs> yes, which means you're going to get premium audio. It's got the ESS Saber DAC built in there. One of the best DACs. You guys have heard me talk about that on my PC build and other devices, you know, as well. So that is something I think a lot of people who like audio would definitely like. And if you love your audio, they've also gone a step ahead with their speakers. It's got what they call you know, the boom speakers. Uh, they work with DTS Headphone X, which creates a sound chamber. Basically, they use the space within the device to create an echo chamber that really gives you more oomph in your sound and it sounded really good but you know what just take a listen yourself and hear what the g7 thinq can actually do with speakers wow Yeah, that was pretty cool, I have to say. Uh, but we'll still test it out and compare it to other devices and all that kind of fun stuff when we get our full hands on this device at home. But I have to tell you though, the G7 ThinQ is a really nice device so far from what I see. In terms of other specs, you do have a 3000 milliamp battery. It does support um, uh, Aptex HD as well, as well. So of course, if you wanna use your wireless audio, you can actually do that uh, built in uh, on the device, which is really nice. Uh, and 
I think a lot of people will like this device in some form or fashion, but I really want to see how well that camera functions with, of course, its AI functionality, because that's the big thing this year, and that's what everyone is talking about. So if you have any questions or any comments, let me know. Don't forget to like and share this video, favorite this video, subscribe to the channel, and always enjoy your entertainment. And check out more of my videos.